Well, it's the power edition of our car review with Gavin and Shiro from Overdrive TV. And they're with us this morning. And if you want to tweet them anything about cars or ask them anything about the cars that they are going to tell us about this week, at Overdrive TV on Twitter or on Facebook as well. Guys, you've had a powerful week. Yeah, yes. we've, uh, we've had loads of fun. As you, as you may know, I haven't been myself of late. We've been driving a lot of BMWs and they make phenomenal cars. So just in time, Mercedes-Benz. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, Larry, just for someone who's tuning That's in for the first TV. time, you've heard this on TV. Gavin is more of a Merc man. Chiro is a BMW guy. <laughs> Absolutely. He's just said... BMW make phenomenal cars, but just in time, Mercedes-Benz reminded me why I love the three-pointed star. They sent us the, the Mercedes C63 AMG. Now, the fun with this car begins before you even get in the thing. It just looks like an absolute lunatic. And uh, they've actually engineered it. When you turn the key, it barks at you. It makes this incredible whoop sound, which is just... A, a, <laughs> I hope I've done that justice. Yeah. It, it, it is absolutely beautiful. amazing. And I mean, this is a 6.3 litre V8 in a C-Class, might I remind you. It really, is, it really is bonkers. So the C63 is what happens when Mercedes sends some empty C-Class shells over to the AMG factory, yeah. where some German wizards tinker away through the night and probably most weekends and then they send back this absolute monster back to the mere mortals at Mercedes-Benz. They put the biggest V8 in it that they've got and it's, you, you get a four-door car, a family car with 336 kilowatts. <laughs> now that doesn't, that probably doesn't mean very much so I'll put it in this term for you. That's 6.2 city golf engines all strapped together. Which I'm sure someone in Boxburg's car <laughs> at some stage. <laughs> it would be a lot of fun. Um, now obviously before they give it back they, they fit some bucket seats and uh, they've put they tinker with the steering and the suspension, and they make sure that the exhaust can be heard in France. And I mean, this engine just sounds ridiculous. And when you put the hammer down, it is the most visceral feeling that you can possibly imagine. It's, you will not help but make a sound when you accelerate. Everyone who went in the car with me gives off an involuntary kind of yelp. Um, so, if you, so if you've taken a vow of silence, don't climb into an AMG C63 Merc because it gets to 104.4 seconds. Which and, you tried out? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And I mean, the night I got it, I mean, BMWs are meant to be great at handling cars cars and Mercs are meant to be a bit more a better a bit better in straight line and this but this car just felt so poised and balanced. The steering felt light and heavy at the same time. I just I just actually started laughing to myself hysterically. It was just so much, so much fun. <laughs> I absolutely love this car. Yeah. I still I still believe though that really good friends shouldn't let their good friends drive a Merc C63 because it's probably gonna leave you bankrupt or dead or both. Yeah. <laughs> but you'll be smiling the whole time. So don't listen to your friends. Take a eight hundred and fifty thousand of your hard earned rands and go and buy this wonderfully, delightfully stupid car because you'll be smiling the entire time. It's fantastic. And that's why cars exist. And that is not the only powerful <laughs> car. Chiro, you had something uh, from the Renault uh, Right, shed. so the Renault Megane Trophy. Now, do you know parkour, Liesl? That's that, that French sort of running mm. art that you, you yes. throw yourself at walls in yes. the tracksuit, that mm. sort of thing. <laughs> well, they, well, they decided they're going to make a car that looks like a parkour shoe, basically, and put 196 <laughs> kilowatts in it. And um, it's one of those few cars in this weight division that actually is faster than it looks. And Chiro, you can testify to that. Um, when you, when yeah, well, two weeks ago, I had to rush over actually here to the Expresso office to drop off some footage. So it was quite late at night. I didn't see a single other car on the road. So I drove uh, enthusiastically, and I can quite within the speed limit. <laughs> yes, and absolutely. I can quite honestly say it was one of the best driving experiences of my life. Look, it's very different to the Merc. The Merc, you put your foot down, it makes a big noise, you go very quickly. The the Renault, you have to get very involved. It's a very sort of serious kind of speed, but it's so involving, and, and that's you know it's another way to enjoy it. What's car. what's great about it as well is like this. Uh, but you'd think all that power through the front wheels it wouldn't handle as well, but what they've done with the LS stiff and everything. It, basically sticks like cheese to a focaccia rug. I think it, <laughs> it, handles, it handles superbly for a front-wheel drive car. We had, we had loads of fun in that as well. So yeah. two very different cars, both are designed just to be absolutely thrilling, which, as Chiro said, is why cars exist yep. in the first place, I so think. They're a huge Do amount of fun. Do you want to ask the price it's on a, this one? It's 409,000 rand, so it's not exactly a toy, so, but it's, it's also something you could take to the shops, and uh, yeah, it'll be it'll, so exciting at a track day. It's probably weird I was about honest. to say, it's a great track day car, which is very popular in Europe. People buy cars cars specifically to go to tracks on weekends. It's getting bigger here as well. But, yep. You know, you can also fetch the kids and do the groceries, so. <laughs> well, guys, thanks so much for Thank joining you. us. If you need to know anything about cars, why don't you tweet them at, ex, uh, at uh, Overdrive TV or tweet us at Expresso Show. If you've test driven any of the cars that they've spoken about, let us know. We'd love to hear your feedback on any of the cars we've reviewed. Next week, a big week for you guys. Yeah, we're yes, top gear. for the Top Gear Fest. Extremely excited. We yeah. believe you'll be there as well. I'll catch up with you guys cool. there. We'll see you there. And we'll see the guys in two weeks' time back here on the couch on Expresso. Right now, we're taking a quick break. We're coming back with your Express News traffic and weather. 
Stay with Espresso and SABC3.